Hey there everyone, Sebastian from Champion Helmets here and today we'll be comparing the Shark Spartan GT Carbon with the Shark Spartan Carbon. The Shark Spartan GT Carbon is the recently released new model of the Shark Spartan Carbon. Both helmets are meant for sport touring and the Spartan GT is coming in about 50 euros more expensive with the recommended retail price of 480 euros around 530 US dollars, while the normal Spartan Carbon is about 430 euros or around 480 US dollars. So let's see what other changes Shark have included with our road test. Just a quick note before we get started, if you wanted to check out our other helmet reviews including the Shark Spartan Carbon or the Spartan GT, check out our YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe. First, let's go over some quick specs for the Shark Spartan GT Carbon. The shell is obviously made of carbon and is pretty lightweight coming in at 1450 grams in a size M. The helmet's available in two shell sizes. For ventilation, you have a large vent on top here, two in the chin here, and an adjustable exhaust here in the back. The visor features an additional locking mechanism on the side here to improve safety and help keep the visor in place, which the Spartan Carbon does not have. The GT also has an integrated sun visor operated by a slider on the top of the helmet. This helmet is also meant to fit glasses, and the liner is removable, washable, and antibacterial, not to mention it also comes with emergency release cheek pads. So, let's see how it does on the road. Just to let you know about our setup, on the left we have a monitor showing the helmet's internal temperature in degrees Celsius through a thermometer placed in the top of the helmet behind the liner. In the middle we've got a decibel meter giving us the noise level inside the helmet from a microphone placed near our rider's ear. On the right you can see a phone which is recording the wind speed. Lastly in the middle we have our rider's speed and exterior temperature on the dash. When we tested the Spartan GT Carbon on the road, it was 14 degrees Celsius and we had a wind speed of 100 to 115 km per hour. As always, we test our helmet at a speed of 130 km per hour on long sections of the highway. The inside temperature of the helmet was 14 to 15 degrees, so that's a 0.5 to 1 degree difference with the outside temperature. For noise level, this helmet clocked about 100 to 102 decibels, which is pretty loud. Our rider found the helmet to be very comfortable, but in performance to be about the same level as the Spartan Carbon. Now let's go over a few quick facts for the Shark Spartan Carbon. The shell is made of carbon and fiberglass blend and comes in two shell sizes. It also weighs about 1300 grams, which is much lighter than the Shark Spartan GT, about 100 grams. For ventilation on this helmet, you've got the same positioning, though different method of operation. So on the chin, you have this scoop here, whereas the slider is on the GT Carbon. Where on the top, you have the small switch here versus the large slider on the GT Carbon, and you don't have any adjustability on the exhaust on the Shark Spartan Carbon. For the visor, you've got a pin lock prepared visor that's also in the box. Though the visors look similar, they're not interchangeable because you don't have this lock that the GT Carbon does. But this helmet also has an integrated sun visor operated by the same slider on top of the helmet. For the liner on the Spartan Carbon, the liner is removable, washable, and antibacterial, though it doesn't feature emergency quick release pads, but it should still fit glasses quite well. So with these facts over with, let's see how the two helmets stack up. When we tested the Spartan Carbon on the road, it was 20 degrees Celsius and we had a wind speed of 125 to 130 kilometers per hour. As always, we test our helmet at a speed of 130 kilometers per hour, just like the Spartan GT on long sections of highway. The inside temperature for this helmet was 22 degrees, so that's a two degree difference to the outside temperature. For noise, this helmet comes in at 104 decibels, which is like the GT, rather loud. During the ride, our rider found the helmet comfortable and with a good lining. He also found it performed and ventilated well at speed, though it was a bit noisy. Now, let's give out some stars. If we look at material, the Spartan GT is made of carbon and comes in two shell sizes, which gives it four stars. And the Spartan Carbon is also made of carbon and again offered in only two shell sizes, so that gives this helmet four stars as well. Looking at weight, we have a strange result since the Spartan GT came out heavier with a weight of about 1,450 grams, so that's 4 stars, while the Spartan Carbon was about 1,300 grams, giving it 5 stars. Moving on to the visor, both do well since they're both pinlock prepared and in the box, even though they're not interchangeable, they're quite similar, so that's another 4 stars. Looking at ventilation, both helmets had about a degree or two difference, giving each 3 stars. For noise isolation, both helmets did equally poor at about 102 to 104 decibel mark, giving them two stars. Lastly, for comfort, our rider thought they were both good, so each helmet is getting a fair four stars. This brings the Spartan GT to a total of three and a half stars and 23 euros per star, while the Spartan Carbon gets a total of four stars at 20 euros per star. So this is an interesting result since the predecessor is actually more value for money and comes out as a stronger performing helmet because of its lighter weight. But other than this, there wasn't really much of a clear difference. 
If you'd like to purchase the Shark Spartan GT Carbon or the Shark Spartan Carbon, make sure to head to championhelmets.com where we have a lowest price guarantee and great bundle deals if you scroll down. So we've got a bit of a strange result here at the end. The Spartan GT Carbon is the latest in the Spartan line meant to take over from the Spartan Carbon, but it doesn't really seem to add that much in terms of performance or value. This is especially the case if you look at the Spartan GT's Europe star rating of 23 to the Spartan Carbon 17, which is pretty big considering the Spartan Carbon actually came out lighter than the GT Carbon. The real updates here seem to be mainly in terms of safety, which are always welcome, with the GT's new visor lock and the emergency release cheek pads, but this ultimately seems to be the biggest change here. However, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments below, and if you liked the video, to please subscribe to stay up to date. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and I'll see you soon.